This is a bad idea. 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 Hi everyone, I'm Jay. Good to see you again on YouTube this week concerning iRacing. It's going to be a little bit of a random week if you haven't already seen the other videos which have popped up on the playlist. We've decided to go to the Indianapolis road course with the NASCAR A class. That's uh, the cup car. It's I just really wanted to push myself this week. Three cars, three classes that I don't normally race in very tricky environments. And probably fair to say I've come out the other side in each one okay-ish. There is an instant in this race which I massively apologize for. One thing that these cars are very unforgiving with and that's the brakes and what happens when you lock up and go three wide into a corner and there's five of you in a cluster and you kind of get the story with that one if you haven't already make sure you thumbs up on the video subscribe check out the rest of the content we've done this week and there's been plenty of content we've done this week in fact now that i think about it this is a four a four video week i don't think we've ever had that unless it's been an i racing reset season but anyway more for you to watch isn't it but yes also, as well as the thumbs up and subscribing, make sure you check out the links that are underneath, especially the Twitch, Discord, all that good, good stuff. Coming up now, full race, all the instants meshed together in some sort of action replay format. You lot like it, so I've kept it in. And I'll see you afterwards for my final thoughts. Okay, Jay, here we go. This is not going to end well for any of us. Someone's going to get taken out absolutely hardcore. Green, green, green. Got our good friend Max next to us, though. Let's see how we both do. On your left. Still there. Clear left. Left side. Clear left. Starts okay, let's get settled in. On your left. Hold your line, clear left. Left side. Clear left, car left. Hold your line, clear left. Just let him go, keep it clean. Going to lose a lot of places here. Keep it nice and smooth. Still got cold brakes, so got to make sure that doesn't happen. Ooh, Clear sli right. Slightly uh, locked up behind me as well. That has afforded me a couple of seconds. Boy, after that lap we're in pretty much the same place. Just silly mistakes like that, like... <laughs> The brakes in this car are a challenge and a half if you're not used to them. We've just got to hope that our track knowledge and what we know in the touring cars and other series helps us out when it comes to road racing. See, there's others locking up as well, which is good. Which means it's not just me. So we're 2.3 behind the car in front. Just in the right lines and knowing how much of the curb and which curbs we can cut. Some curbs you absolutely do not want to cut around here. Especially coming up to this last uh, chicane. Do not cut the next curb because it's a bit thicker than the rest.
Nice wired line to cut plenty of that. We'll get the catch up to these. So I've been averaging on practice 132s, which is slow. If you're a decent rate and you're about to jump on this track, please try and get into the 3-0s if you can. That lap time was 133.9. Use your gears to brake as much as you can. Without going too crazy on causing uh, the revs to ping and send you spinning. While everyone's fighting, just try and maximise your lines as much as you can. B13. Right side. Hold your line. Car right. Clear right. On your right. Still there. Right. Okay, right I get it. You're not happy with my first lunch. Still there. <laughs> Don't have to do it like they do on the TV. Hold your line. <laughs> Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear right. <laughs> See, chunky curb. That's frustrating. Yes, I I locked up the tyres there. Wasn't expecting the inside line to break that early, early though. I panicked. <laughs> but I let everyone go eventually, so at least there's that. Fifteen laps of this. It's fine, I, I believe I can catch up to these two. A top 10 could be on the cards. As long as I can catch up to these, if these two start battling, that's going to improve my chances. I may get an angry message after the race from one of those I accidentally locked up on, but... When you lock, in, lock them in that position, there's not really a lot of places you can end up escaping to, unfortunately. Another one, that seems to be a tricky corner for a lot of people. I, I rarely go wide on that corner. Or try, I try not to. I think uh, a lot of the quicker people do use that line, but just in for the sake of safety, I try not to, just so I can open up the last corner a little bit more. Still experimenting with first or second gear here. I, uh, I did watch one or two lap guides and someone gave the advice of to keep it safe, try not to use that first gear if you can help it. Right, sticking to second around everywhere is a good band. To be honest, in most cases it is, but sometimes you can definitely feel how much quicker first is in some of these. It's just it's a very tough car to control in first gear. Like you really need your brakes and your tyres warmed up to really make the most of it. Fastest lap for Mills on 29.0. So, track a combination where you just have to really maximise your lines if you can help it. Oh, 
What can Brown do for you? I don't know. What can Brown do for me? That's your quickest lap in this session. See, that's... I don't know if he's in first or second, but if he's in second, then that proves my point with the first gear, just feeling a lot quicker. Well, we're both using different lines here. Right, I'll keep it tight. And like some tracks, <coughs> Imola, you can use a lot of these uh, guys to the side as much as you want. Within reason. See, just opening up some of these corners a little bit more can really make a difference. You can tell with how much his corner entry is helping him, but the exit's suffering. And then the same the other way around, like my corner entry really... My corner entry speed really suffers sometimes, but my exits are a little bit better in places. Try to not touch that curve at all. I like to keep tight here just so I can open this corner up a little bit more. It's just my. This then just becomes a confidence issue for me. Alright Jay, keep pounding on the pressure and he'll make a mistake. Just being nice and stay with my braking now because I don't want another accident like last time. Ooh, and I need to be careful with how I stare out the corners unless I'm absolutely straight out of an exit. Don't want to be pushing the car too hard in some of these places. I've got a good 9 seconds on the person behind so I can not rush any attempt of an overtake here. Oh wow, he... Nigel had a much better time through there. Still a bit nervous, so I don't want to break too hard, because if I... If I'd have just locked up even slightly on my tyres there, that would have been dangerous for both of us. Has increased to 1.1 seconds. I know Jill's going to want to try and get some distance between us both. I'm not going to let him. Meanwhile, leaders already on corner seven. There. Fortunately, I couldn't cause on your left, clear left. Couldn't cause Nigel to. Breaking off, I wasn't expecting that. That slow through the corner though, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Calm down, Jay, calm down. Right, back marker up ahead, how is he gonna affect the tide of this battle? Uh, Chase behind us is uh, catching us up. Staying out there. Okay, Jay, halfway home. We've got plenty of fuel. Yeah, 
Yeah, I had no idea where that was going there. That could have gone anywhere. You can hope that he slows down the lap car behind, but... Tenth position. <gasps> Ooh, I thought... Nigel lost it there. On your right. Still there. Hold your line. Clear right. Come on, that's the stuff. Bit of a dive, but I knew he, was, he had less speed approaching that corner than he usually did, and he braked in the same place. Okay, 0 0.7. It's going front. Is there any way I'm going to get away? It's got to be this bit. Got to be very careful in this car as well, upshifting while turning. It's dodgy in most cars to do it, but here it's especially dangerous. The gap behind is now 1.0. Cool. Let's try and uh, stretch that a bit. Come on. That's it. See, this is a series though where I'm for vocals, I would love to have a sequential right, shifter be in front of me right now and use that it's so much fun, more fun, more authentic. And at the end of the day, yes, this is a sim, but you kind of want to have some fun at the same time, right? Not do stuff like that, that would suck if I could just give up the position. They'd appreciate it, but me, not so much. Don't just push so hard if I'm trying to get away. Being smooth is going to be my greatest asset here. Hitting some apexes will probably help as well. And there's a chaser spun behind us. Every time I see someone's radio, I'm having to look at the board to see if uh, there's someone in front of us who's having some trouble with somebody else. That would be nice, but... Since happened behind me, I'm not sure what though. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's some fighting going on ahead, or was some fighting going on ahead? A few back markers, but we now have a 10 second gap. But should you try this series? One thing to take note. Hope for this series. Uh, if you're not aware of iRacing Oval Series doing road. We don't do the uh, redacted word car. And that's me messing up. Two seconds. Me allowing Nigel back into it because I'm just such a swell guy. 
When an oval series goes on to any other series, or you know, you usually got road series, but if they do an oval, for instance, it will take when matchmaking for races like this, it will take your new discipline into account. For what I mean by that is, this is an oval series, but when you do indie road, it's going to take your road rating into consideration. So if you're pretty good at most cars in the road racing scene, just be aware that your road I rating is the I rating that's going to get affected by these races, even though it's a preliminary, it's preliminary, it's mainly an oval series. I am struggling, I've lost, I've messed something up with my tyres. Probably a bit warm, I need to calm that down slightly. And that was a bit of a horrendous lap, wasn't it? I've just given Nigel a free six and a half seconds. Let's not do that again, if we can help it. Okay though, safe ninth. We are going to lose I rating, but so it's still about between sixth and seventh, fourth and fifth. Also, there's a fair few spins as well, so got that as well. We'll have to have a look again at that lockup I did and just how much it affects everyone's races. Jay, it's terrible. Better than that. All, all I have to do is drive safe, and now I am just missing my braking points. This is a change though, it's a, it's a steep learning curve if you're not used to driving stock cars as a road vehicle, as a road course vehicle rather than an oval. Your eyes are going to be opened immensely. But hey, you can, if you can keep a steady throttle on your exits and just play to the car's strengths. It should be fine. So the top runners are about six seconds faster than me. Yikes. <laughs> Behind the gaps now, 3.5 seconds. Much better corner, much better corner. One more lap. Quickest lap so far is a 132.2. One more to go. You've just done a Mr. Yukimura, that was an incredible race, man. Nicely done.
Wow, I really just did that. After everything. After everything. And I've gone and given him a, a way in again. I think I was going for a quicker slap as well. Well, personal quicker slap. We made it through. Nice place it is. P9, there's the finish. Good drive. That was a very very tough race and the people who are good with nascars they they proved to me straight away why i need a hell of a lot more practice average lap time nearly five six seconds off leader stupid mistakes from ourselves and a massive apologies as well to everyone who got affected by my lockup going into turn six i think it was but it it happens the cars are pretty easy to lock up if you're not used to them but we, we fought through, once again, just inside the top 10. That seems to be uh, quite the theme this week. And the safety's gone up slightly. Probably won't be touching a road course with a NASCAR anytime again soon after that. We'll probably stick to the ovals. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't already, please make sure that you hit that thumbs up, subscribe. Check out the rest of the content that's on the channel, especially the other videos that we've done this week, the F1 Clash stuff as well. If you're going to be playing F1 Manager, I do have a few videos to do with that as well. So make sure you check them all out, leave a thumbs up on them as well. As well as that, a few links underneath for Discord, Twitter slash X, Twitch, that good, good stuff. Make sure that you're following and subscribing to all of those as well. See you all next video. Take care of yourselves. Most importantly, please make sure you take care of each other.